In this video we're going to code our camera rotation so we'll be able to rotate horizontally and vertically but because we're in a real-time strategy game the chances are that your skybox might be black so if the skybox is black we want the camera to focus on the terrain all the time so we're going to code some limits some vertical rotation limits okay so we don't want it to scroll right up to the top to look at the sky it'll be totally black and we don't want it to look directly at the side either so we're going to code those limits in and we're also going to make a toggle so we can actually toggle on and off the wire, the vertical rotation because in some games you might not want to do that at all we might, want to, we might not want to rotate vertically at all so we can turn that on or off okay so just a couple of notes we attach the world camera script to a camera controller and the actual camera is embedded within that so that's going to come into play because we need to rotate uh, vertically in one horizontally in the other we'll get to that soon so in our world camera script um, I'll put a link to the previous video where I explained this so you guys can follow along I'm just going to define a couple more variables private float mouse x and a private float mouse y so to determine whether we've rotated or not we need to check whether the mouse has changed from the previous frame okay if it's changed from the previous frame you know we're going to rotate and we're going to rotate by holding the control key I mean you could press the shift key but we've already used that and I don't want to get into changing things in this video I'm just going to use the control key so when that's held down we're going to hold the right mouse button and then drag that's how we're going to rotate okay so moving on let's define a couple more variables private boolean I'm going to call this one vertical rotation enabled equals true we're going to enable it in this video so this just toggles whether we are actually going to rotate vertically or not if it's false then the script will not do that that's really important if you're like I said if you're using if you're developing a real-time strategy game you might not want to make it vertical rotation couple more private float and we're going to say vertical rotation minimum so we can say zero and also a private float vertical rotation max okay so 65 and these are degree values so in degrees in degrees okay so our camera will be able to rotate vertically between 0 degrees and 65 degrees okay guys okay so we're going to update the mouse X and mouse Y on every frame I'm going to change this update to late update because we might want to work out loads of calculations before we actually input the camera movement and stuff so I'm going to change this to late update and right at the bottom I'm going to put mouse X is input mouse position X and also change the mouse Y so this is where they're updating on every frame mouse Y okay and we're going to code all of our logic for our mouse rotation in a separate method I'm going to call it handle mouse rotation simple as that so this is the only method we're going to code in this video so public void not going to return anything handle mouse rotation this method handles the mouse rotation vertically and horizontally okay so I'm going to define a variable to begin with I'm going to call it ease factor and I'm going to make it assign it a value of 10 so this value is going to be multiplied by the difference in the mouse direction okay so, and then we're going to times it by time delta time as well and because time delta time significantly reduces the, the value we're going to make this quite big we're going to make it 10 for now okay so let's start doing this if input mouse button get mouse button so if the right mouse button is being held down and the control button so input get key and you can say key code left control so if these if both of these keys are being held down so if the right mouse button is held down and the left control has been held down we can then go into the horizontal rotation okay let's do horizontal firstly this is we can rotate in the horizontal direction an unlimited amount so no matter how far we move the mouse it will still rotate and that is a different case in the vertical so we'll get that set in a minute so if input mouse position dot x doesn't equal mouse x so if there's a change in the mouse's x movement then we know that we need to rotate the camera okay so simple as that then we can work out the rotation so there we can define our variable camera rotation 
y. So I'm going to put this in the y. And why is that? Because in order to rotate horizontally, we need to transform the y rotation. So by rotating the y, we actually move horizontally. I'll show you that in a sec. So camera, put an A there. Um, camera rotation y equals input mouse position dot x minus mouse x to find the the difference between the mouse movement to find how much you've actually moved the mouse times ease factor times time delta time okay so now we've got our rotation y and then we can just apply this value to a rotate uh, function so this transform rotate not root rotate okay so we need to rotate in the y so zero for the x camera rotation y and zero for the z and I think that's all we need to do for our horizontal rotation so I'm just going to save this let's jump back into our script and test this okay so I'm holding down the control button holding down the right mouse button moving and that's cool we can now rotate in the in the y so let's just grab our where is it our camera controller okay so as you can see when I'm rotating the y rotation is being changed so even though we're moving horizontally we need to rotate the y okay that's a really important thing to remember with rotations okay guys okay let's move on to the to the uh, vertical so let's say vertical rotation this one's a bit more involved so if firstly the vertical is enabled so if we can actually rotate vertically and if input mouse position dot y doesn't equal mouse y so if we've moved the mouse in the y direction from the previous frame then we can rotate vertically so for this one we we don't want to rotate the camera controller we want to rotate the main camera itself because if we apply the rotate y and x on the same object it will arc around it will look like the objects falling over so we need to rotate a different object vertically and we're going to rotate the main camera Okay, but to do that we need to find it. So game object main camera equals this game object transform. We're going to use the find child method and we're going to find the main camera object. We could have attached the main camera to a public variable up here, but I don't know how often we're going to use this, so I'm just going to define it down here once. Dot game object. Okay, so we're referencing the main camera game object and then we can work out the desired rotation so we can say there camera rotation x this time so even though we're rotating vertically we're going to change the x rotation of the object just the way things are and we're going to do a similar thing we did here so input mouse position y if I can type that right uh, we're going to minus this from the mouse, mouse y this time so so if we minus mouse y from this uh, value then the rotation will be inverted so when we move the mouse up it will rotate the opposite direction and we don't want that to happen so we minus the input mouse position y from the mouse y this time times ease factor times time delta time okay so we've got our rotation x so before we apply it because we just applied it to the horizontal uh, we need to check if it's in the limits or not because we define limits at the top so to do that we need to store this rotation in a desired rotation so we can call this one desired rotation x equals main camera transform so we're just gonna we're gonna apply this rotation to the main camera's transform and to do that we need to instead of putting rotation dot x which has a value from 0 to 1 we need to get the degree value so we're going to use Euler angles x Okay, so the Euler angles gets the rotation in degrees, and that's really cool. Uh, and we're just going to add on our rotation. So this is our desired rotation. So with the limits, we can say if our desired rotation x is greater than equal than vertical rotation min, which we just defined at the top. So if it's greater than zero, and the desired rotation is less or equal than vertical rotation max, so 65. If the desired rotation is between 0 and 65, we can actually do this. And then we can say main camera transform rotate. Okay, so this is going to do in the x. So we can say go back to our camera rotation x. We're going to apply that 0, 0. 
okay guys so we couldn't actually rotate both of these at this at the same time because they're different objects to start with and if we had this disabled then we wouldn't want to anyway so that's why we've done that and I think we're done here so I'm just going to test this out before I explain anything else let's just jump back into our game okay so here we go holding down the control key right mouse dragging and now we can drag up to 65 degrees so it stops there that's cool so like I said real time strategy black skybox you might not want to show this you might want to disable it and we can go down to zero degrees boom and it stops right there so now we can view all of our models and all of our lovely detail and texture maps which we spent a long time doing okay so it's really cool okay and very smooth as well okay so I'm just going to explain something why did we uh, apply our camera rotation X to the main camera and not to the camera controller like we did here. I'm going to show you this. I'm just going to say this dot transform now. So now the camera controller is going to rotate in the X and the Y. So here we go. It's the camera kind of falls over. It arcs. The camera arcs. We don't want that to happen. So yeah, I mean you might want it to happen you know, if you're if you're developing a really weird game. <laughs> but it's up to you guys. I mean, yeah, you might want to use it for some games, but let's put main camera, then everything will be fine. Okay, is there anything else I wanted to test? Well, if we change vertical rotation enabled to false, let's change this to false, then we will not be able to rotate vertically, just horizontally. Let's just double check and see if this works. And it does, moving up and downwards, but we can't rotate vertically, that's fine and this is probably the way you should actually code RTS games just the horizontal rotation alright so as you can see we defined our camera limits and these are no longer valid I don't think because we could, we've changed the position the rotation and stuff of the camera and uh, we're gonna have to change these in the next video in the next video I'll code a more sophisticated way to control where the camera can move to and then we'll go from there in our strategy game so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully see you in the next video